Hey guys, welcome to lesson 8 where we are going to learn all about booleans. So you may be asking yourself what does boolean mean? Booleans is either true or false. So basically a boolean is a true or false test over and over again within the computer. So basically you're going to run a test and the answer is either going to be true or the answer is going to be false. There's no in between. So there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. Okay, so let's come down to our code and get something set up. So let's work with some variable types that we're already familiar with. So we'll do int x equals 37, int y equals 49, and int z equals 51. You could initialize these all in the same line. You could do it on three different lines. Either way is fine. Okay, so we're comfortable that int is the integer type. So a Boolean is also a type. So Booleans are variable types. Integers can be equal to any whole number. Booleans can be equal to true or they can be equal to false. So come down to the next line and we're going to say Boolean. And you can name it whatever you want to name it. The B is just a variable. You can name it whatever. And with X, Y, and Z. They're variables. You can name them whatever you want. So now we did talk about this a little bit with GUIs. Remember that we said set visible equals true. So that was a variable type of Boolean that needed to be set to true to be seen. Booleans can also run tests within Java. So like we can say Boolean B is equal to X less than Y. Okay. So if we look, X is 37, Y is 49. So X is less than Y, so this statement is true. So it should return true for us. Okay, so let's print that. So system.out.println, and we're going to print B. It would really probably help if I spelled print correctly. Okay, so go ahead and run it. It comes back with true. Now, if we copied that, paste it down here, Changed it to balloon. Can we print balloon. And I'm going to change it less than to greater than. X is not greater than Y. So this is going to return a false. So go ahead and press run. And it gave us back the correct answer. You can also check for equality. So if we wanted to make this test say test if x is less than or equal to y, you just put that equals right behind your less than or greater than. You could do that here too. So if we go ahead and run it, it's still true because it's still less than or equal to. So there are four types of tests that you can run within a Boolean. So one is less than, greater than, equal to, or not equal to. In Java, if you're testing equality, the test for equals is two equals right next to each other. Because if you look at your code, I mean, you have equals all up in your code everywhere. So they want to specify if you're setting something equal or if you're testing for equality. So just note that you have two equal signs if you're testing to be equal to or not equal to. Now these you can also make greater, less than, or equal to. Right now, we're just going to kind of leave those in there because that's something that you already are familiar with. So let's test that. So I'm going to copy and paste this. Again, we'll have to change the name of it. So we're going to test if Boolean bear. So in our Boolean, we're going to test if X is equal to 37. So we know that that's true, right? Not three equals, just two equals. So we want to test and see if x is equal to 37. It is. It should be true. So let's go ahead and run it. And it is. It brings us back true. So now let's test if x is not equal to 37. And this is just how you would do this. So run false because this says x is not equal to 37, which it is. Now if we said 38, we said test if x is not equal to 38. It's not, so it should bring back true. And it does. So hopefully this kind of this makes sense a little bit to you. You're just kind of testing equality or greater than or less than. And if you have difficulty remembering your greater than and your less than, 
the less than looks just like a tilted L. So that's how I usually remember my less than is just like writing an L. You probably thought that that was it. Equals not equals greater than less than. It's not. Booleans actually can do way more than we even like utilize a lot of the time because they're actually really handy. You can run tests in the background of your programs to make sure that things are happening. And you can also test multiple systems inside your program with one line of Boolean. So again, I'm going to come down, I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to come up with a new variable. So let's say that we want to test if x is less than or equal to y. And we want to test if y is equal to z. So we want both of these things to be true, print true. So now, first of all, it's mad because look, we ran that y equals z test. It's a test, so it's y will equal to z. Second of all, it's mad because and is not the operator for this. So if we're trying to test if x is less than or equal to y and if y is equal to z on the same line, you use double ampersand. That tells you that you're testing this and this at the exact same time. Okay, so this goes back to like, remember when you were learning how to take tests in like sixth and seventh grade? If both parts are true, then the whole thing is true. If one part is false, the whole thing is false. So if we look, this first part is true, right? X is less than Y, 37 plus 49. And we're testing if Y is equal to Z, which is false. So if your thing says true and false, the whole thing becomes false. So let's test that and make sure it works. It does, there's our false right there at the bottom. But if you wanted this to become true, you could say y not equal to z because now both of those are true. Now the whole thing is true and it will turn you true. So I'm going to make that double equals again so that, you know, these notes on the side are correct. Okay, so I added the and test in here. So on Moodle is something called truth tables. So these are what it's called whenever you're running tests. So what I want you to do is I want you to copy the first one into your OneNote. So a truth table is basically where you test if something works out, how it works out each time. So if both, if A is false and B is false, so this, you're testing them both to be this way, then your whole answer is false. If A is false and B is true, still false because only part of it's true. Same with this one. If A is true and B is false, the whole thing is false. The only time for an and truth table to actually work out is if both A and B are both true. And then the answer is true. So this is how it works in Java. Both of your pieces have to be true in order for your answer to be true. You guys are now ready to move on to the second video about Booleans.